do have coming in. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonation. Now the mod we're gonna be taking a look at today is the latest in the cross modded series, adding in a quite interesting looking handgun into the world of Fallout 4, coming packed with its very own unique weapon upgrade system. Now the Cross Rugger Mark V mod is a standalone custom weapon mod, adding in a beautiful looking pistol into the Commonwealth, coming packed with its incredible looking custom made meshes, high resolution textures and a quite in-depth and very unique weapon customization system, allowing you to enhance each and every single inch of this pistol, customize the color of every individual part, attach top and bottom rails for various miscellaneous attachments and even change the projectile type be that ballistic, energy or even elemental. This is by far one of the most versatile pistol mods I have ever seen, allowing you to turn it into nothing short of a fucking rifle. Well, I mean, kinda. Which is just perfect for any situation which might require you to have various similar firearms with minor adjustments. For example, as of late, American high schools, making this the ideal weapon to arm each and every single member of the faculty. Be that the science teacher, the art teacher or even the school librarian. Now the weapon itself can be obtained in one out of two ways, be that by crafting it over at the chem station alongside with the brand new custom ammo type added in by this mod or by finding it somewhere in the world itself, seeing as how this weapon has been added to the leveled list and will spawn through all out the wasteland on various NPCs, vendors and containers which would usually contain the .44 revolver. Now some of you guys have been complaining that I showcase way too many weapon mods, which is understandable, especially considering this is the third gun mod this week. But after recent events, I think it is quite obvious that the answer to any problem is more fucking guns, despite this being an absolutely beautiful looking and incredibly designed pistol, I honestly don't think it fits to Fallout 4 all that well mainly because it seems just a bit too advanced for the Commonwealth, the only exception being the Institute variant of this weapon, which seems to fit into Fallout 4 relatively well. So head on over to the Fallout 4 Nexus and grab yourself one of these boys, for self-defense, I mean, because you do not want to see what happens after Mrs. Winters shushes you for the third fucking time. For some odd reason you actually enjoyed watching this video and would like to watch more, then subscribe to the channel. As always, my name is Maggie, you've been watching Troll Bros, until next time guys, I'll see ya!